Hey, welcome to my channel. So if you've been watching any of my other videos, you may see that I recently uploaded a video of me out on the lake um, for snagging season, and I snagged a couple of good-sized spoonbills. So what that led to was some good-sized fillets here that I decided that I've, I've never tried smoked spoonbill, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, here is my finished product, and I will walk you through how I got to this point. So tune in for the next steps. All right, so this thing has been brining for over 48 hours now, so it is uh, good and brined. It's uh, ready to, to be seasoned and taken out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of here. And we're gonna pat this dry. As you can see, it's, it's absorbed a lot of that water, so it is pretty runny. So get this out of the way. It runs down my arm. All right. <clears throat> so now we're just gonna take a paper towel I'm just going to lightly press and get all that moisture off of there that we can off the surface. That is dry enough, so next we're going to apply this uh, sauce to it. It's also like a dipping sauce too, but I'm going to use it as the base for the seasoning. Just to add additional flavor. Lots of butter in here, whipping cream, so it should help with that flavor. Just so that I don't get too much of the seasoning off of there, I'm going to season one side at a time as well. So then we're just using pretty much Texas style with a little bit of garlic in it, so just salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm going to season this kind of lightly, not too heavy. That one's seasoned good enough. I'll flip it over. I'm just gonna do the same on this side. I'm just gonna get these edges here. <coughs> All right. So now, as you can see, that is seasoned, pretty well covered. And we've got the, the topping on it, so I am ready to put this on the smoker. So this is a pretty short cook. This is going to cook at 225 degrees. It's going to cook for about two to two and a half hours. Um, it may actually be sooner. This is the first time I've, I've cooked Spoonbill, so I'm going to need to kind of <laughs> monitor it closely. Once it reaches an internal temperature of 145 degrees, we'll know it's done. So after about an hour of cooking, I'm going to go out and check on it take temperature, see where we're at, and then determine how much longer it needs. So I'll play it by ear on that one, but at max, two and a half hours. So uh, I'll go ahead and get this on the smoker and tune in for the next part. next okay we are now at temperature and this is looking pretty good got a really good smell to it as well so we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut into this and see how it looks and how it tastes so we're just gonna slice this in little strips Yeah, it looks like it's coming out pretty good. It's got a good color to it. Looks pretty done. Just yeah, it's starting to fall apart a little bit on me. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so here's the the true test. I'm gonna just slice this one in half and give this a try.
pretty good. Now if you get one of the pieces on the end, you can taste a lot of salt, so <clears throat> you might want to watch that on your the amount of uh, salt and pepper you're putting on there, but overall it's got a really strong flavor to it. Um, I can taste a little bit of that fishy taste. Um, it's not overpowering though. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish slicing this and get started on eating it. Be sure to go out and like this video, check out some of my other videos, um, comment, and let me know if you have any questions or anything you would try differently. So, thanks for watching.